Hello, up for sale today I have a 1990 Land Rover 90. This has the 2.5 liter 19J turbo diesel. This is the model before the Defender, before the 200 TDI. So this was manufactured in early 1990, just before they started making the Defender. Um, so the paint job's in decent shape. Uh, it's been repainted a little bit lighter blue than the original darker blue. Uh, however, the cross member is in really great shape. It looks brand new. So that's a big job out of the way. And the chassis is in really good shape. There's some light surface rust, but normally where they rust is right here. And you can see there's no holes or welds. There's the factory seam, just surface rust on here. And I've uh, owned a couple of these 19J pre-Defender chassis and I think they're a little bit better because none of them seem to have any holes in them. Motor is relatively clean. Only 108,000 miles on this engine and transmission doors are in pretty good shape a little bit of surface rust interior is original 108,000 miles AM FM stereo and it's got the three jump seats in the back with seat belts. Galvanized cappings. So I'm gonna flare it up. plug light comes on Okay, just want to do a quick but thorough video of the underside. Um, so this is a sub $15,000 Defender, which is way at the bottom of the price range for most of these. Um, so this, this is a good as-is driver, but um, if it's going to be for a restoration project, it's a good foundation to start from because of the chassis. Um, Cross member, as you can see, is new. This is where it was welded. Uh, most of the times, if the chassis are really rotten, they'll actually cut them way back here and weld them by the suspension mounts. Uh, but this one, it wasn't necessary. So, all good metal. All the way around. There's no holes except for the factory ones, obviously. Or repairs that have been made There's just some wax oil there um, rear diff is in good shape I'll show you there's hardly any play at all let me get a good view here so you can see barely turning in it and it turns the tires on both sides So not a lot of slop in there at all. You do have 
little bit of leakage coming out of the transfer case in the oil pan gasket, but that's a really quick fix. Again, all good solid metal over the whole chassis. I don't see any welds anywhere. This right here, that's where they normally rust out and that is all solid. Go up to the front here. The swivels, you know, they're not in great shape. They need new seals. But like I said, this is a 15, or under $15,000 Defender. So it's not gonna be perfect, obviously. This is another rusty spot, usually. All good. VIN stamp is in place. It's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but it's it's there. Solid. And another telltale sign that it wasn't abused over its lifetime is this center cross beam or cross member. If it's been abused, normally this is all banged up. But this piece right here doesn't have a scratch on it really. And that's to protect it from rocks and things while you're, while you're going off road. But all in all, I would say this chassis is definitely a minus at the least.